Hello everyone, this is Rick with Buddy Punch, and like most companies, you'll probably be requesting that your employees submit their time card to their manager or an administrator for approval. This video is going to walk you through the process your employee would go through. We've begun by logging in as an employee on the web application, but please note that the process is very similar and just as easy to go through if using the mobile app. We land right here on the dashboard where they're going to see their ability to punch in and out on the left side. You'll also notice in the upper right corner that they can review and submit any past time cards. But for today, we're going to focus on the current time card that you see here on the right. The employee will be able to see the details below. And if there's no changes to be made, they simply click on the blue button to submit for approval. This takes them to the next screen where they can enter any notes that they wish. And if they're all ready, they can click submit for approval and they're done. But let's say that there's an edit or two that's going to be necessary. From the home screen, right here, they can go ahead and click on the edit button and be taken to the edit page. But another way to get to that is to go up to the top, click on Time Cards at the top, and click on View All. Simply select the one that they want to view, and they are taken to the editing screen. Now something to point out here, you'll notice that this employee has the ability to edit their time. You see an edit button next to each time entry. Well, depending on the permissions that you'd like to set, you can give your employees the ability to enter and edit their time without approval or with approval. Or you can set it up where they can't edit their time at all. And as with everything, you can set this on an employee by employee basis. Now in this example, your employer will see their ability to delete an entire time entry that they see here on the right by simply clicking on the small red delete button. Now if an edit is needed, an employee can select the edit button for an entry. Right here, it gives them the ability to change their time. Let's just change that to a different time here. And they can add a note. When they click Save, that has been edited. And you can see right here, there is a note indicating that there has been a change. Once they're done making all of their edits, they are ready to go to the top and click on the Submit for Approval button. And just as before, they're going to see that summary. They can add a note and click Submit for Approval. Once they're done, that's all there is to it. Now, as you can see, the process here is quite quick, very intuitive. And that's all there is for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.